Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Having rebounded off the mid 63 cent area, the Australian dollar currently holds to a slightly firmer pace as it now looks back to re-challenge the recent highs around 64 and a half. Having overnight failed to take this level out, which could have extended to a positive lead, the market is now looking back towards this level and see whether or not we can see a bullish move beyond 64, 55, 65 and look towards the region of 66 cents. Things are soon expected to start heating up as the investors worldwide will be watching the Kansas City Fed's Jackson Hole Economic Policy Symposium in Wyoming. This is when the U.S. Federal Reserve invites central banks and economic policymakers worldwide to discuss markets and the global economy. The retreat kicks off on Thursday and runs to Saturday, with all eyes on the main speaker, which will be the U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. It is unlikely Powell will offer specifics about any near-term monetary policy decisions. However, investors will be watching closely for any hints from on the central bank to see what it is thinking in terms of holding rates longer or will they decide to hike 25. With the market now through the midway point, we could see this rise up towards 64, 55, 65. We only pull back to 63, 70. Looking at the euro, the market posted an engulfing candle to a negative fact that the market plummeted, but away from that midway point as well. And looking to the downside, the target still holds clearly at 107, 75, 85. I feel there will be a bullish response from here. I'm not going to get too negative beneath 108.20, and therefore let's see if the market does stage a rebound and look back towards 110. The outlook for dollar yen, a little bit weaker, and now finding supply returning to the market could see a move back to 144, 60, 75. However, don't get too negative because the market hasn't completely broken down yet, and therefore failing to reach its downside target. Still, we keep an eye on that top side, anywhere from 146 to 148. Sterling, a little bit mixed here, but still failing to take out that key level of 127.80 to 128.20. A clearance from there would give further confirmation to the bull case and look to 130. Any pullback should find support around that low 126 region. Having broken out of this down channel, the market is holding for its third consecutive day as it looks above 1,900. Looking up towards that top side resistance is around 1,910.11 and I feel the market may actually retreat from there and eventually fall back on the path to the region of 1,850. Wrapping up with oil, the market it was a little bit softer overnight after that brief look above $81 a barrel was soon ambushed. In light of the pattern, we still could see further upside temps. I feel I like the way this RSI is holding, so therefore a move away from the lows, away from $77 to $78 a barrel, and look to the, the objective, which is at $82.40.60. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report and hope you enjoy the rest of the day.